Samson is with me and we're going to have a look at the games that I played just a couple of hours ago on Lee Chess. There's seven of them and they're not all wins. Uh, but this is the ending position of the first one. So here we go now. So these are five minute games and they're rated of course and they're Blitz. Eastern Blitz Arena. So this is the first game of seven. I played a bit of a naughty move there, didn't I, Samson? <laughs> a bit naughty. A bit, it's, it's not very nice when that happens, but it was a five minute. There's no reason why my opponent should fall for that one. If it's a, a one minute, maybe, but not a five minute. I'm not going to spend too long. I might speak about certain areas of the game. I can't really play e5 here now because the pawn on d4 is pinned to the defense of my queen on d3, which is loose if I play e5 now. So I don't. And my opponent actually starts playing quite well now. It's the usual story, isn't it, Samson? They're always... Um, I sort of think they're playing okay, but not really. I do lose as well, so that's all good. So now I'm just aiming for B7 checkmate. Well, my opponent won't let me, so. And guess what happened in this game? My demonstration board for the game was a uh, multi-ultra um, size view. So it wasn't normal, because I couldn't see that it was now, I went for rook b1 check after queen a7. I went for rook a b1 or rook b1 check uh, because I've got no, I can only see like about an eighth of the board because it was in macro mode. I don't know why. I couldn't change it either. So if anyone knows how to get out of that, if it happens to me again, I'd love to hear from you. C2, so I just had to keep moving the board up and down to see <laughs> what's going on. But because I'm a piece up and now uh, I'm two pieces up, it was a bit easier, <laughs> you know, to do it. And um, it's now my opponent resigned. My opponent resigned right now, here and now. So we'll go to the second game now. And you will get to see the positions at the end. Now, this is my opponent is 2 1 3 1. I haven't played any Kings Indians or something, I don't think I have. But here we have a, for the meantime, a normal Tarish French defense. So I actually, why don't I take the pawn on d4? I don't know. I don't know why I don't take the pawn on d4. So anyway, I didn't take the pawn on d4 in other words. But I should have taken the pawn on d4 because now I'm... Oh, why didn't I take... Okay, right, I've said that enough. Right, now I play the Nigel short move, which is f6 here. And my opponent, <coughs> my opponent does not answer with ef6, but merely goes on with other moves instead. So I take the pawn, it's a bit grubby. So I want to do grubby moves real quick. But my opponent's 2-1-3-1, so it's a good thing to, to get a reasonable position. But um, of course checkmate's threatening, so I have to threaten, take the threat off of queen h7 <coughs> checkmate. And b3 and c5. Do not try these moves at home. And here I'm just lining up the uh, F2 square, soft. And white's going to want to play H5. Because remember, this is actually um, five minutes. So we've got a bit of time to do what uh, Paul Littlewood said to me. That 
when I interviewed him that you can actually do some planning in five minute chess but not so much in three minute chess so he was a wee bit surprised that it's a bit sad but I actually do a little bit of planning in, in three minute chess or even shorter versions but I might be just making it up so I take this it has to go off and knight takes was no good because of queen f2 check and maybe it's going to be checkmate soon thereafter I think it is actually so I don't I can't actually really play e5 but my opponent lets me away with it I, I don't know it might have looked quite um, good to my opponent now it says rook d e1 I don't know why, oh yeah, my mouse is behind me, e4, so I'm out of the woods sort of thing. We have to find a way out here. And I think my opponent resigned there, so that's round two. So don't worry, I'm going to lose one. Uh, I play an opponent that I've played before. My my game is uh, this one. I actually happened to win. Oh yeah, I think I lost the the one of the last games, and because my phone rang, my phone rang. It was my friend in Christchurch rang. So I just take the pawn. Uh, it's the walrus opening, isn't it? E5? Is E5 the walrus opening? Uh, probably could play knight C6 actually. G4. Oh, can I not just play F5? Oh, no, I can't play F5, can I? Because the bishop F5. That's right, G5. Knight here. And. So white's got an advantage now. Usually I have. As I usually say that, don't I? I've always got an advantage at the time. <laughs> you know. Uh, black should have played rook b5, but rook d8 is very passive, and because of that, I end up with 2 t minutes 24 seconds comparative to black's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 or something like that. So this is kind of elementary, this sort of stuff. And that's the end of that game. I don't really want to spend too much time on that game for my host, uh, for my friend here as well. Uh, we haven't actually done a New Year's talk, but uh, it's now almost the end of the year. We'll do another night. We'll, just watch the we'll do another night, maybe. So now my opponent's 2038. And so far it's one nil to my opponent going into this game so I know I have to be very careful and my opponent's playing very assertively I believe I had to um, keep a tight ship here really so I do the basics don't I Samson I do the basics I, I like to attack the Queen with the Knight because maybe they won't um, I have issues with my position here's f5 so I've now gone into my still waters opening check And of course I could just play um, here, I can just play Queen D7 uh, with 
intent of going Queen G4 and checkmate or something similar to that. But I play this in Rook E1 and I play Queen G7 and it's turned over after King F1. I'm sure you can see it, which is very easy to see, of course. King F1, maybe uh, E6 will survive for white a little bit longer, but really with the pawn on F3, it's just too hard to handle for um, white player. Uh, so King F1 is tantamount to resignation, Queen H3 and my opponent resigned. Yeah, yeah, I know you would have. Yeah, and that's fair enough. Uh, I might have played E6. Yeah, the next game is my loss. This is my loss. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. The score is after this game 4 3 to my opponent. So this is a deciding game. If we're having a decider, my opponent is 2061. So, just playing my system against me, you know, almost copying. My computer's slowing down because I'm going off the phone, phone um, data. I hope it works still. It's needing to perk up a bit, isn't it? The graphics are dragging it might not work but I might be able to fix it by speeding it up I don't have to be talking in it now this is uh, maybe I should play here d e5 instead of um, f e5 so yeah uh, but yeah, my opponent plays g5 straight away, just doesn't muck around. And I've got this long, this white squared bishop that can be a problem one day. g3, h6, queen here. So here's b6, I think, and I play this, and then I have bishop a4. Maybe, um, no, not really even. I went rook c1, but the thing is, is that b5 was quite a good move. I, I found this play quite good from black. I was doing a pre-move here soon. I can't go, um, I want to go queen f5, but I can't. But I almost do a pre-move. Here I did a, um, I did the obvious move. Oh, hold on, I went e6. Thinking that this is going to be really good, but I forget that the queen is defending f5. So I was doing a, somewhere along the line I do, yeah, I do a pre-move after I think the computer's not liking this, to be honest. Here I was just about going to take the pawn on f5, but I realised, oh yeah, of course, rook f7 has happened. I'll see if I can do a refresh. I'm going to refresh it, hold on. Because it's having a panic attack. Won't even let me refresh. So it's going on to knobbly mode. So I might, uh, I might have to take my talk out, which won't be a shame. I might be able to get some of it in. And Roxy, ah, oh, yeah. Now I should play rook c4 now, and if bishop b5, then I can play rook e8, rook c8 check, and I get away with it. But I played it in the wrong way. Um, 
I don't really care, but my position's lost now, plus this computer can't handle um, doing things on the sly. I've really got no hope here, have I, Samson? I'm just going to get beaten, aren't I? Now, if I was playing you, you'd say, oh, yes, you've got hope, yes, play on. Oh, oh. But, um, yeah, it's not very nice now. It's, it's almost completely resignable, and it is now. And so I did. You would bring your bishop there. I can't because it's just e1 and then uh, rook up and it's resignable. I don't play on there. Um, I wonder if I can. So that one, that's is that one. So here is this one. I might have to just um, edit myself out. It's got really, really good RAM in this, but it just doesn't seem to like it if I'm sort of like looking at this kind of live. It's not live, but it's kind of like it. Now my friend was talking to me on the phone as well for this game, so it was before with the game I lost, so uh, this bishop doesn't really see the light of day for a long time, the bishop on e8. This, I've been here before, I've been in this position a few times. And it's quite fun. Yes, I thought knight d5 was going to be the move my opponent would play, but I wasn't too worried about that as knight b4 and bishop c6 check so i was quite happy with this position i think i have um rook a3 And here's where my opponent resigned. With uh, almost my last name at the end, isn't it? W-E-E. -E. Now, and I'm going to make us a cup of soon. A cup of coffee. Yeah, we're going to have a cup of coffee. We're going to have a men's drink. And I think that's almost... Um, there's one more game. I'm playing a 2084 player. And so I'm not sure how this will work, but um, might be trying to get me to still play in the tournament. <laughs> so these are the moves that you've got to watch out for in um, French openings and that sort of thing, uh, is these pawn wins, like Black's threatening E4 or something like that, but that might suit some people because... They might, we could go bishop d3 now, and then if e4, e4, and get a sort of horrible king's gambit. <laughs> bishop e2. So this didn't go very well for me, but I've been enjoying, like I'm saying, the um, tennis and gambit. This is a immature this move, but it worked. <laughs> Ooh. 
with us. Look, I'll just get pushed back, pushed back. And that happens on the other side too. I, I think I better protect a three B four square. Back to the drawing board. No threat. Now this could be quite dangerous if I take this the wrong way. Although, yeah, no, it would be because if I take it now, uh, if after rook g4 I go king h2, I'm in trouble with moves like queen h5 and rook, rook um, h5. Is it rook h5 or rook h4? Yeah, rook h4 and that sort of thing. So I have to be careful. So I moved my king up to f2. And here, black could play queen, H oh, they can't play queen h4, but I've got this diagonal thing happening, you see. I've also, like, the dark squares are very good for white. And I've also got the rook f8 check and the queen c3 check or something like that. Or just capturing the rook on g8 and playing rook g1 that sort of thing so it's pretty hard now and black played queen f6 and after rook f6 my opponent resigned and that is the end of that i hope this works and i will soon find out when Why did you press queen here? i don't know can't tell i'd have to ask him but i don't know i don't know okay, so did you enjoy the games yeah, yeah. So six out of seven, I wouldn't mind having six I, out of seven in people, any tournament. Why people do silly move like that. This video did have some drag in the graphics department because I am running it from the laptop. So I decided to place it anyway because it's true Kiwi grit. So I hope you liked it and uh, there you go. So thank you very much for tuning in and watching this video with Samson and I, these chess games that I played on the 5th of February 2024. I really appreciate you checking in and I hope you got something out of this. Samson and I had a good night last night and sometimes we, uh, or I, get a little bit annoyed if I get beaten. We played Super King last night and I can say here with that I didn't um, erupt into any sort of off the board, off the board sort of explosions. Uh, but I, I do it at times, and that's just uh, what it is and who it is and who I am, and that sort of thing. But I thank you so much for watching, and I appreciate you watching, and I, I wish you all the best with your chest no matter where it's at. Okay, bye-bye.